The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. Guys, today we've got something brand new in the game. Something that I think you guys are going to be liking a lot. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, this is called Friday Night Drafts. A lot of you guys have seen it. Some of you might not have yet, uh, but it's definitely something we're going to want to pay attention to going forward here in Madden 17. Um, so basically, guys, this is within Draft Champions, of course. That makes sense. Uh, and basically what it is is a new type of uh, bonuses that you get on Friday nights for doing ranked Draft Champions. So um, what you're going to want to do is go in here. This is the news update. If you look on the left, it's going to give you some information here. Um, basically, what the idea here is, is that uh, there are, of course, as, as usual, as is with EA uh, there are going to be some collectibles that you can actually get here in the game um, they're uh, elite badges and gold badges within Friday Night Draft Champions so they're called FND gold badges or FND elite badges and basically what you can do is you can take those and redeem them for players within the game um, so it's kind of cool I, I think that uh, it's pretty pretty innovative I like that they're doing this stuff uh, adding more stuff to the game um, so basically what happens is that if you win all six of your ranked draft champions games in a round uh, in a draft you're basically going to get six or you're going to get excuse me one elite FND draft badges uh, in addition to your uh, your standard things that you get normally within ranked draft champions so you'll still get those competitive badges you'll still get your pro pack um, and whatever else you get I forget off the top of my head but you get some other stuff as well um, so there's a lot of cool stuff that you do get by playing ranked draft champions right now so it's definitely something to look into um, this is going to be each Friday by the way guys and uh, the other thing too is that if you don't win all six you're still going to get a number of gold badges depending on how many wins that you actually get and you can either take those and put them into a set to get some of the gold FND players that are in the game uh, and then there are also elite FND players as well by the way um, but that or else you can take the gold badges and I think you need six of them to create an elite badge. Now with the elite badges you can actually go in with one of them and you can actually get one of the weekly Friday night draft elite players. Um, and right now there are a whole bunch of really cool ones. There's um, Geno Atkins, I'm trying to remember everybody off the top of my head. TJ McDonald, I know that one. Derek Carr. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. I think is the big one right now. I forget right now who the rest of them are. Anthony Barr I think was one of them. Uh, but there are a whole bunch of really good players and basically if you do the one elite badge you're going to get one of those players but it's not going to be auctionable. So it's going to be a player that um, you're going to have to keep on your team or a quick sell at some point for like you know 50 coins or whatever you get for it. But you can actually get six of those ranked draft elite badges and you can get a player that you can actually keep on your team. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, it's going to take you a ton of games to get to that. So I don't really think any of them are going to be on the auction block at this point since it's the first time that we're seeing this in the game. And people would have had to have won, what, 36 <laughs> uh, games in order to get that. So it's going to be something that you're going to have to play a lot of to get one of the players that you don't uh, or that you're able to actually auction off. But at least there's a possibility of doing that. Um, and, and, you know, these players are going to be good for at least a little while here. So, you know, something to consider. You might want to just go ahead and, and do the one elite badge and actually just get the player that you can you don't have to or that you're not able to auction. But um, Anyway, that is uh, kind of the quick rundown of it. So what I wanted to do, guys, is actually show you a new rank draft because there's actually a new round or two, actually, I think, for the Friday night ones as well. So this is something that you're going to want to do. Uh, by the way, one thing that I wanted to point out is that I actually quit out of my previous rank draft so that I could go into this. And I hadn't drafted my team before, or I had drafted my team before this promotion was launched. So I actually still got the, uh, I think I had two wins. Uh, I think I was two, two and one or two and oh. Um, but any, you know, I was two and one because I only had to quit one game. But either way, um, when I when I quit out of it, it actually allowed me to still get the uh, the gold badges. So that's kind of cool. So I actually have a couple of those still. Now, uh, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go in here. Again, it's still going to cost you three entry tickets, so it's not any more expensive. So that's kind of cool. Again, this is basically just an additional bonus. So uh, we definitely like to see that. Now, I don't really love any of these playbooks, unfortunately. Damn it. Uh, crap. Uh, I guess I like a 4-3 defense better, so I'm going to go with uh, the Dolphins. I don't think I've ever used the Dolphins playbook. We'll try it out. Whatever. 
Uh, even if I don't make it, even if I lose every game, it doesn't really matter. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice, guys, is that, again, you're still getting your Legend round at the beginning. However, at the end, you're also going to get an additional Legend round on the Friday Night Draft. So, uh, this is kind of a cool thing. Uh, first round, of course, we get Jeremy Shockey, who, I don't know if you guys know this, but I was actually a big-time Jeremy Shockey fan back in the day when he played. Um, I think we got to go Champ Bailey here, though. Cornerbacks are just so important. I love Charles Haley as well. He's got such great power move. I could, I could definitely consider going with him because defensive line is really actually quite important in this game, uh, especially when you're playing draft champions because you go up against those offensive linemen that aren't very good. You can kind of move Haley around, match him up against somebody that's not very good, and just wreak havoc in the backfield on passing downs. So I might want to consider doing that, but uh, Champ Bailey, I think, is maybe the best legend in the game right now, so I'm going to go with him. Now let's continue on here. So, all right, first round, kind of standard stuff here. We got a left outside linebacker. Michael Kendricks is nice and fast, so we might go with him. Let's see here. Yeah, block shedding on Ayers is just too low. His power move's good, though. His strength is too low, so he's just going to be a detriment against the run. We're going to go with Michael Kendricks, running a 4-3 defense, so we need some of those fast linebackers to be able to be in coverage. Anthony Barr is another good option here for us. Sean Smith is a little bit slow for me for an elite cornerback. I can't really put him in man-to-man -man coverage and hope that he's going to keep up with the guy that he's on, so that's a little bit of a liability. Uh, Linval Joseph is a good option. Power move 88, strength 91. Uh, he could definitely do some damage in the backfield something to consider at least but uh, Anthony Barr I feel like has got to be the guy I know we got two left out outside linebackers we'll move the other one over not a big deal uh, let's see here we're definitely gonna go D end here uh, Will Hill is solid but he's not anything spectacular so what I want to do is find somebody that's got good strength and a good power move or finesse move so uh, there you go power move and his strength is kind of mediocre but uh, but the power move is so well gosh they're kind of comparable to be honest with you What's the speed difference? Yeah, we'll go with William Hayes just because he's a little bit quicker. Um, so we'll go with him. I don't really think there's a huge difference between those guys, but we want to get somebody on the edge. All right, cool. So we got Darius Slay here. He is definitely a great cornerback. Combine him with Champ Bailey. We're going to have a great corner duo. And Domicon Su, man, he's another really good option. Uh, I want to be able to stop the run. I don't want to just completely give up on my defensive line. I, I did draft one player though, so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Darius Slay here, and then hopefully we get a couple of decent defensive tackles um, so that I can stop the the run here. All right, let's see here. Anthony Munoz. I I would love to be able to draft a, another legend on my team here. That would probably be pretty nice. Uh, we don't have any offensive linemen either, but we don't have any playmakers on offense whatsoever yet. So we've got to take somebody here that can make plays just in case. So we're going to go with Jordy Nelson. I can't believe he's only got 83 speed, by the way. He's known as a deep threat. That seems kind of ridiculous that he's only got 83 speed. But all right, uh, Jason Peters would be an okay option. I definitely like Michael Floyd. Uh, Floyd might be one of the better uh, gold receivers in this game. Eli Manning, I could go with him. He is quite a bit better than Geno Atkins at basically everything. So that's an option as well. His throw power is actually lower, though. Dear God. Um, let's go with Michael Floyd. Let's go with Michael Floyd for right now. Hopefully we'll land a quarterback here in the coming rounds. All right, cool. So here we go. We got another defensive lineman here. Now, this is the first thing that you're going to notice, guys. This is one of the Friday night, uh, draft. No, it's, yeah, this is the Friday night draft champions, uh, rounds. So here you can either get golds or elites. Now, Adrian Amos is a player that you're going to want to pay attention to because he's got 91 speed at the safety position. That's really nice. Uh, Travis Kelsey's a really good player as well. But Ezekiel Ansah, man, look at the power move. Uh, look at the acceleration, the speed. He is somebody that we've got to get right now because we've got to get some guys that can get after the quarterback. So we're going to go with him. Hopefully he can do some damage on the edge. All right, so we've got, we could go another cornerback here because, honestly, Derek Johnson is really not that good. He's only an 80 speed, and he's a guy that I have to use or control. So his speed is actually of the essence for me at the middle linebacker position. We could go three cornerbacks here. A lot of people pass in this game. I think I'm going to do that. I run a lot of nickel defense, so uh, hopefully we can uh, make him be out there quite a bit. Let's go, uh, gosh, let's go offensive line here. Got to make sure that we're able to at least run the ball a little bit. He's not a huge upgrade from the guy that we had, but at least he's decent. Uh, Jalen Smith is a good option for me here in the middle. I think we're probably going to go with him. Sammy Watkins is a really good receiver too, but we've already drafted two receivers. I got to make sure I have a decent user over the middle just in case. So we're going to go with Jalen Smith. All right, let's see here. Alshon Jeffrey would be a great player right now. He'd be my best receiver. I, I would love to go with him. Byron Jones is a really good safety too. 
But uh, let's go with Marcus Gilbert because, again, we've got to make sure that we're able to move the ball on the ground. Although my running backs are horrendous right now. Hopefully I get at least one running back in this entire draft. I don't think I've even gotten a single running back as a player yet. So, I don't know. Hopefully we get one in the legend round. That would be lit. Getting an Emmett Smith. I would love that. All right, so we got to get some, man, do we have to go safeties here? We could go safety. Honey Badger's a beast, and so is Rashad Jones. Khalil Mack now, uh, so we've already drafted three linebackers, but what I could do now, nah, because we've got William Hayes on the end, and we've got Ansa on the end, and neither of those guys would really be great to put at D-tackle. So as much as I love Khalil Mack, I think we've got to go with Tyron Matthew here. So uh, we're going to try him out. Hopefully he can make some plays for us in the secondary. We've got a crazy good secondary right now. Now, I could go Frank Gore here. Gosh, he's really not much better than the guys that I have, to be honest. But look at the speed of these guys. Like, they're really quite slow. Well, Roy Hallou is actually a little bit faster than Frank Gore. Could go with Roy Hallou. I could maybe use him. Like, he's kind of disgusting and terrible. I don't know. I'm going to go with Frank Gore because I just want to make sure that I have a decent running back. Come on, give me something good here in the final round. All right, so we still don't have a quarterback, so we might have to go with John Elway. Uh, middle linebacker, yeah, we've already got that. We've already got a free safety, although we could put Larry Wilson as the strong safety, and that wouldn't be a bad idea. But uh, I've kinda, I think I've kind of got to go with the quarterback here because otherwise it's going to be Geno Smith. So uh, we're going to go with John Elway. We'll see what this brings us here. Again, two draft, uh, two elite legend rounds, so that's pretty damn beastly. And, uh, again, you still get that Friday night draft round as well. My draft wasn't that great. It's only an 80 overall. But I think we got a pretty good team here overall. Let's take a quick look at the lineup. This is what I'm going to be using here over the next couple of days. So I'll be bringing you guys maybe some videos on this here in the next couple of days. But, uh, yeah, so not terrible, not spectacular. Defensively, I think we're really good in the secondary. Obviously, uh, Danny McRae is not a great sec uh, strong safety, but, you know, it happens. Let's take, uh, why is, why did they make Michael Kendricks be a middle linebacker? Like, what are you doing? All right, let's take him out. Let's put, uh, well, we're going to, we're going to put Michael Kendricks here as the, uh, outside linebacker. So we got to put some other bum in here for a second. And then, uh, and then we'll go ahead and take, obviously Jalen Smith's going to be our middle linebacker. So our linebackers, I think are going to look pretty damn good here, to be honest with you. He's only a 79 overall there at right outside, but still like. It's really not that bad, to be honest with you. Let's take Jalen Smith. Uh, or Yeah, Jalen Smith and put him at middle linebacker. I think this is going to be a pretty decent lineup for me, to be honest with you. Defensive tackles are a detriment, though. Like, he's going to be able to, whoever's running against me is going to be able to run those inside zones the whole freaking game if they want to, pretty much. But, yeah, I think we're really built to be, like, a nickel 3-3-5 defense. If I ran something like that each each play on defense, I would have uh, the three linebackers out there. I would only have one defensive tackle, but I would have uh, these two DNs out there, and then I would still have my three corners as well. So, uh, yeah, I guess... I guess I'm pretty happy about the draft. Hopefully, we uh, we end up doing well. I don't think my running back situation is very good, but we've got decent wide receivers. So, wish me luck, guys. That is going to do it for this video, though. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and hopefully, you learned something. If you did, do me a quick favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.